In this video, we will show you the different steps to build the 3D model of a car rim with reverse engineering techniques. The A-Scan 9 scanning arm is able to acquire accurate point clouds and scan the car rim in a few minutes. The car rim will be scanned in two steps to get both sides. We have to take care of scanning a common zone from each side. In this example, choosing a zone in the external cylinder is ideal. That common area will help the software to make the exact repositioning of the two sides one to each other. One of the point clouds is moved approximately in the right position. The Align Between Scan Data function allows finalizing the alignment of both point clouds. Next, we merge and triangulate the two point clouds to get a complete high-definition mesh, which is decimated accordingly to curvature, in order to reduce the point's number from 17 to 1 million. The mesh is repaired in some zones using smooth and fill holes functions. Now the mesh is clean and light, so we can extract the regions from the model. Regions are some area over the mesh characterized by the software as geometrical entities such as cylinder and sphere or as freeform. They help to understand how the original model could be built. The next step is to align the mesh to the origin of the file in order to create easily CAD entities. Now the CAD construction can begin. First, we use a 3D mesh sketch to draw lines used later to generate surfaces. Lines are automatically projected onto the mesh. We are only allowed to draw square surfaces. Neither three nor five border surfaces are accepted. When the spline wire is finished, we use the Fit Surface Patches function to automatically fit the surface to the mesh. We advise to control regularly the accuracy of the construction compared to the mesh. An interesting feature is the mesh sketcher. It allows us to extract sections from cylindrical parts like here. This profile allows to create the revolving surface. We cut it and create some loft surfaces to fill holes between surfaces. Once a portion of the part is done, we just mirror it and duplicate it with a circular pattern, drawing then the entire wheel. By sewing the different surfaces, we obtain a solid body. When controlling it, we can note some red zones matching with missing holes on the solid. Some basic Boolean operations are applied on the solid.
and some few fillets are created to finalize the part. A last control is carried out on the part. If some corrections are needed, we come back higher in the operation tree to modify unsatisfying entities. If you want to try this process by yourself, the mesh of a car rim is available on our website at creon3d.com.